Hello and welcome to Drive With Care. This one, I hope, is going to present you with something. We're going from Charing, my last video where I stopped, and we're going into Ashford. So we're going into the town centre, I think. Six miles away. Get the indicator on. One car approaching. It's kind of weird, because I want to indicate right, because I'm going onto this road, but I'm coming off a junction, so I have to go left. So this is quite a fast road. It will become national speed limit in a moment. So out of Charing, onto the um, A20. National speed limit applies. Used to have a mini dual carriageway here, but they've changed it to one one lane. And I think in days of yore, before the M20 was built, this was the main road from Maidstone to Ashford. And you would have lots and lots of traffic, especially trucks. So there'd be lots of overtaking this whole route. But now that the M20 is open, they've seen fit to remove dual carriageways and basically just make it a steady 60 mile an hour road which we can live with so we won't probably get many hazards on this stretch but once we get into Ashford we'll have the um, the ring road, there'll be roundabouts, there'll be traffic lights, all the kind of things that I really like to highlight, you know, especially people not indicating, but all the things that you just need to be aware of, you know, that you need to keep your wits about you. Coming into Hoffield, we've got a garage on the right, there's car showroom on the left and some junctions and a restaurant, so yeah, could be some things pulling out. So I'm already visualising that ahead of me, just to be aware. Car's turning right. Why didn't he slip into the lane? I don't know. Fifty mile an hour zone. What a glorious day. I feel like I want to drive to Scotland. You know, just fill the car up and go. Potential for horses as well as still 50. Caution pedestrians. <laughs> Does that mean we should caution them? <laughs> How do you present a caution to somebody? Right, there's a car waiting at the junction, likely to pull out before I get there, but didn't, so that's all good. I wonder if I would have pulled out. National speed limit, let's get it up to 60 now. Nothing in front of me, nice clear run. It's getting a habit for me now, doing these videos in sequence. When I first started the channel, I'd go out and do one video. But now it seems to make sense to me, well you're out, break it down into little sections, <laughs> Albeit that I release them three days apart from each other. It gives me a nice backlog of videos to, um, to release. So potentially I might um, find myself with sort of five or ten videos in a backlog and I don't need to go out for a month. That might be nice. But I'm trying to build the channel. It's growing slowly really love the fact that you're all subscribing. Thank you all you subscribers. And for any others, come on, join the Drive With Care tribe. Right, the road becomes a dual carriageway. I won't stay in the right-hand lane. I'll filter into the left, give a little indicate that I'm moving into the lane. 
we've got our first roundabout ahead. So again, before the M20 was built, this was part of the dual carriageway that would run along all the way into Ashford. But now they've built a housing estate, as they do. They've put a roundabout in. But at least they haven't put traffic lights in. Got some working going on. Indicate off the roundabout. Now I'm going straight over this roundabout coming up, so I'm going to stay in this lane because it's very ambiguous. It's one of these new sort of three or four lanes on a roundabout with traffic lights and you have to think, what lane am I in? What lane do I need to be in after I've passed these lights onto the next ones? Because it all changes. So read the road signs. I want that lane, it turns out. Ashford. So I can see there are three lanes ahead and I potentially want the middle lane because the left-hand lane will turn left and go off down towards Kennington. Don't be worried that there are cars whizzing to your left and right and you think, no, no, I was here before you. <laughs> because it's all lane controlled and they may be going a different direction to you anyway. So I'll go left here. I'm entering into a dual carriageway, so I don't want to be on the right-hand lane. Did the Suzuki indicate? I can't work it out. I'm so concentrating on getting in. But you will have seen a Raspberry or a trophy. Because I like to award. Cyclists on the pavement could fall off their bikes. Lights are changing causing me to stop. Quick look all around, make sure no one's running the red light. I'm going straight over this roundabout, so I'll stay in this lane all the way round slowing down. Where is the red Suzuki going? He's crossing over the lane. He is indicating off though. You'd want to stay in your lane, wouldn't you? I can see why he went across though, because he's going right. I'm going left at these lights. They've got some roadworks going on since I was last here, a couple of videos back. So as I said in one of my previous videos, that you can do the route time and time again, but it changes every time, and that's what's happened here, it's changed. So they're obviously planning some roadworks. I've got a moped driver in front of me. Traffic's building up on the left-hand lane. And my consideration here is someone decides they don't want to sit in that traffic and they just jump out. That's how I got knocked off my motorcycle, someone doing that. So once bitten, twice shy, right? If it's happened to you, you know to keep your eyes aware. I want to go right at these lights. I'm in the right-hand lane. The road sign in the road is telling me it's right-hand lane only. I will indicate, even though it's right-hand lane only, because in my mind it's a junction. Everyone's going right up Park Street. Oh, I've got the sun in my eyes. It's awful. I've just seen a car coming out of High Street. So I wonder if it's open. If it is, I want to do it. You know, bear with me. Let's go, I've not done a drive up the old Ashford High Street, so let's go around the Ring Road into Elwick, up Bank Street. <laughs> I did Ashford in a recent video, but no, I think it'd be good.
And the reason it will be good is that we should see some hazards. I want to go right at the lights. I'm not sure what this Vauxhall's doing. Let's go right here. More lights, but what do you expect in a built-up town, right? You won't have seen it, people, but I sat at that traffic light for two and a half minutes. Doesn't seem a long time, but when you're parked in the car, it's a long time. Right, Elwick Road, into a 20 mile an hour shared zone. And because it's a shared zone, there's no markings on the road anywhere. You know, sort of splitting the lanes and all of that kind of stuff. Indicate right, I want to go up Bank Street. I'll get in after this golf before the scooter comes. One way system. Yeah, the road is open. Let's go up along top of Bank Street and then into the High Street. Oh, they've taken the Christmas decks down. <laughs> the last video I mentioned that they leave them up all year, but they've taken them down. Credit to them. Right, because it's shared zone, pedestrians everywhere. And this guy walking in front of me. Got a bagpiper there, can you hear him singing? Scotland the Brave. Pedestrian in the road. Lots of pedestrians in the road. Exciting times. What speed am I doing here? I'm not even doing 10. I'm doing about 8 miles an hour here. It's good for me to come down here so that I can see what shops they've got. Because the last time I was here, it was totally different. Pops Pizzas. <gasps> the Mecca Bingo Hall has been shut down. That was my first ever job at the top rank. 1982. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trip down memory lane, people. Every time I come to Ashford. Do, do. Do, where shall I stop the video? Let's pull in next to this Toyota. Get the indicator on, let everybody know what I'm doing. That wasn't bad, was it? A little trip down memory lane again. Charing to Ashford. <laughs> Engine off. Um, yeah, quite a few hazards, really nice. Drop me a comment if you saw something I didn't see. And in the meantime, I think I might even squeeze another video out here. So thanks for watching and bearing with, and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now, and drive with care.